So you heard over the weekend that uh, Mike Leach was ill and hospitalized, and um, as it turns out, a um, a fatal trip to the hospital. He passed away at age 61. 61 years old, man. Ugh. I mean, talk, talk about being cut down. And anybody who um, knows college football, has been following college football, has seen Mike Leach or heard Mike Leach. Anybody who works in college football knows about Mike Leach because they're either on his coaching tree or his air raid offense that he um, took from Lavelle Edwards in his time in BYU where he was a rugby player. He wasn't a football player, but he spent time in the film room with Lavelle Edwards and Norm Chow was the offensive coordinator there at the time. Oh, wow. And um, he took that offense and, for the lack of a better phrase, kind of perfected it. You know, four wide, one running back. He, he put the tight end in, in unique places. And talk about unique places. Where did, he, where did he use as his laboratory for the air raid offense as a coach himself? Um, how does the uh, College of the Desert sound to you? College of the Desert, a community college in Palm Desert. That's where he spent some time at the beginning part of his coaching career after spending time at Cal Poly. He then went to Finland. He coached the Puri Bears in Finland for the American Football Association of Finland. Bounced around at I Iowa Wesleyan Valdosta State until he wound up at Kentucky as the offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach at Kentucky. And um, won there. Tim Couch wound up being so damn good, he was the first overall pick of the draft for the Cleveland Browns when they came back into being. And that's when Bob Stoops said, okay, we'll check you out. And we all know, you know, he spent some time at uh, Texas Tech as the head coach there and wound up getting fired. There was a lot of controversy in his time. Remember, it was Craig James's son that he thought didn't have a concussion. And, oh, right. and he wound up getting fired over his treatment of Craig James's son and led to some, you know, led to some lawsuits about his firing wrongful termination and things of that nature but he was incredibly successful at texas tech cliff kingsbury was his quarterback there washington state that's when gardner Minshew became a sensation i mean his offense really churned out some big numbers big quarterbacks wound up at mississippi state i mean big 12 pac 12 sec where he was the coach at mississippi state when he passed away and then just you know his press conferences. There's something else. For instance, this is him giving marriage advice to a reporter <laughs> or asked for it. Well, it's so it's too late to rescue you. Uh, the uh, the best wisdom that I can possibly give, uh, the best w wisdom I can possibly give on that subject, nine days, and it's a little late. You should have come to me sooner. Um, the uh, my wisdom would be. Uh, you, you have to stay out of the way. Now, and I wish you a very happy marriage, and I'm sure you'll have one. But uh, I'm just telling you, uh, when it comes to marriages, uh, the women lose their mind. Your fiance is going to lose her mind. Your mother-in-law is going to lose her mind. Your mom is going to lose her mind. Several of your sisters and uh, female relatives are going to lose their mind. And... Um, and that you, they're gonna they're gonna barrage you with constant questions. What should we wear? And then, uh, which of course my answer was I don't care. And then, uh, what color should the invitations be? I don't care. Uh, what should we have for dessert? I don't care. Should we seat this this way or that 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 way? I don't care. But see, I don't care is not satisfactory at all. And you're gonna get caught in a catch twenty two, and I'm certain that you already have. <laughs> And that catch-22 is, well, I want you to be a part of this, too. Uh, so what color invitations? Um, all right, the blue ones. Well, I kind of like, uh, kind of like the tan ones. Okay, the tan ones then. Oh, you're just saying that because uh, 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 you want this over with. You're not even thinking about it, which is, of course, true. And then, um, <laughs> well, uh, 
Uh, what do you want for dessert? I was thinking of strawberry shortcake. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, strawberry shortcake would be good. Well, what about the blueberry pie? Well, I like the blueberry pie. We could have the blueberry pie. Well, I thought you said you wanted the strawberry shortcake. And it's just going to go back and forth, and they're going to play keep away from you <laughs> until uh, after you're married. So what you need to do is you need to work late hours, <laughs> work late, be, be very nice and supportive, and um, uh, but but they're going to play keep away from you, and, and there's no answer you can give that is going to be satisfactory or correct. And if you successfully uh, please a few of them, the others will still be, oh well, I just don't feel like he's that interested. Yeah, okay, so so you need to work late, uh, go in the back room and read a lot of books. Uh, uh, you know, uh, you have to go uh, take the groomsmen out so you make sure that they march in just right and they know exactly, you know, these swell outfits that, that you picked out or whatever, however you're doing it. Um, and in the end, you'll wish you eloped. But um, uh, nevertheless, you need to find, uh, you need to find um, excuses uh, that they'll buy uh, to be as far out of harm's way as you possibly can and uh but uh, take comfort in knowing that uh, once the ceremony's over um that uh you know life will get progressively better from there even though there's some adjustment rest in <laughs> peace mike leach one of one mike leach that is all time man. Just work late hours that <laughs> is all time i mean so good. He also uh, was asked in a post game uh, on the field by the on field reporter about, um, I guess, after Mississippi State boat raced somebody um, about his favorite Halloween candy. I mean, he, <laughs> he came on, he gave you advice yeah. for being a newfound dad, right? Yep. He uh, said that once the, the kid is housebroken, yeah, house bro- I think he meant potty training. No. <laughs> He also said he broken. also said cavemen have been doing it for thousands of years, so it's really not that big a deal. Yeah. Sixty like, Minutes did a profile him called him the mad scientist of football. He was a um, he was a, a, a bestseller of books. He had a law degree from Pepperdine. Yep. He again coached in Finland. He was a rugby player. I mean, he was uh, the the all around unicorn. Interesting. Talk about swinging your sword. You have to swing your sword if you're a pirate. He, he had a, a dynamite um, cameo on <laughs> yep. Friday Night Lights that he told Coach Taylor that he wasn't swinging his sword properly as a pirate. I mean, <laughs> good Lord. I mean, obviously, there were, his career was not without its bumps and its bruises and obviously controversies, but Mike Leach was a brilliant administrator of offense in college football that's going to leave it's left its mark on football professional and collegiately that's sad rest in peace mike leach keep swinging your sword sir